So good morning everyone and welcome back over here to Disney Springside. Come on over today because, well, Gideon's officially finally open and they opened up on Saturday. Now the thing I've heard about is that Gideon's apparently open and it had a 11, 9 to 11 hour virtual wait. Because they are doing virtual wait while you wait for cookies. So what I thought I'd do today is try to come on over, see if we can try to get in line. Maybe because it's early enough in the day it won't be as long, hopefully. Um, if it's like an hour, I'll wait. If it's like anything more than two hours, I might not stay very long because I'm just not feeling like 100% today. I think it's the weather, I'm not sure, but we'll check that out. And then on top of that, we'll go around, look at stuff at Disney Springs, maybe get some food over at Earl's Sandwich. We'll see. So I'm gonna head on into the elevators down to go through temperature screening and through security. This may have, uh, I mean, I should have tried to get here a little bit earlier because right now, this is the line to get through temperature screening and security. It is also Martin Luther King Day, so people probably do have the day off, so it might be a hindrance, but I do want to go over and just check it out and see, like, what the process is for Gideon and, like, the, maybe get a virtual time, maybe to come back. You know, if it's, like, six, seven hours from now, maybe I'll keep it just for the sole reason of maybe I'll come back later with Kayla and we can get some cookies in, but we'll see. All right, so that took about five minutes to walk through that entire thing and then get all the way up to the secu to the screening and to where you get temperature screened and security. So we're actually going to head to Gideon's now, and I think the quickest way to Gideon's is to go down up to the bridge up by en Enzo's and Maria's and the pizza shop and down where um, and head down that way for the middle section of the landing. From there, we'll get to see what, what the deal is with it, see what the wait time is, and then uh, just go from there. Hopefully it's not too bad. I mean, it is already kind of busy, but as Kayla was saying, because I was just texting her about it, is that it is MLK Day, so expect it to be a little bit busier at Disney Springs since you don't need a reservation to get in. So despite the fact that the line from the Orange Garage to come in was kind of busy, getting out of this area is not too bad. And I see a bunch of people down there on their phones, so I think they have their little sign up for Gideon's to let you know how you get in. So, almost anywhere. Like Gideon's is all the way down here. So Jack Hanger Bar is right here, the Oakley store. And on the corner used to be this jewelry shop, but this is where the Gideon's cookie shop is. Now I did find out from one of my friends that apparently Gideon's is not new to the Orlando area. This is just the newest one at Disney Springs. So, that's why it's so popular. But it's also a smaller shop compared to the other shop that apparently is in Orlando already. So, kind of interesting to look at it that way. I didn't even know that. So in reality, I probably should have come down from the other end down here because down by Homestyle, because this is where the end of the line is. Because the end of the line all the way goes all the way down towards Morimoto's street food side. So I'm gonna check in with these people, see what the deal is. All right, so what you have to do is you have to go up to Gideon's and Gideon's and then come around towards the end of the line. You find the end of the line, there's gonna be probably three to four people because that's where they had, they have little iPads, little, little iPads that then give you an estimate. So they quoted me in about an hour and 45 minutes. Now a person did say that She's only quoting an hour and 45 minutes just because that's how long the line, that's how many people are in the line right now. But as people come back and you get the second text, depending on how quickly you get over there, how quickly people are going in and getting, getting um, their cookies, it could be a little less. So we'll stick around for about an hour, see how long it takes. So what I'll probably do, head over to Earl's Sandwich, see if they're still selling breakfast. Might get some breakfast over there. We might stop in World Disney, look around for a bit, try to see if we can kill about an hour, see if we can see if we can get into Gideon because about two hours will put me at about 12 o'clock, so we'll go see. We'll just check it out and see if we can wait out for it. If not, come back another day and maybe come and bring Kayla along. We'll try to get here like at nine in the morning for that. Well, as you kind of walk up into the west side of Disney Springs, again, not super busy right now, but again, the fact that Gideon's is already an hour and 45 minute virtual wait is impressive, but I am excited because the cookies are like half pound cookies. So if I end up getting, I'll get a couple because um, Kayla asked me actually if I can get her one. But let's, well, like I said, we'll go around, see how busy it does get, and just look around and maybe head over to West Side to go look at the line for Everglaze and to see the M&M World construction because I have not looked at that in a while. So I'll tell you, there is one thing that I am very upset about with Disney and at the co-op. As you know, they have something called D-Tech. D-Tech is something where you can go in, customize a phone case, customize a magic band, get a magnet, all sorts of things. But lately, they've not had my phone 
in stock and everywhere I've gone they still don't have it so I may stop in here after I eat so they have it if they do I want to get a space mountain or a people mover phone case but yeah it, I don't I, yeah it's one of my frustrating things so like I don't need to get a new phone but it's just like out of everything not to have it's the phone I have even though you offer it and you show it as being offered all right so I got to Earl's sandwich and they are still serving breakfast they serve breakfast up till 11 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here, grab something to eat, something smallish, not super crazy. So I ended up giving just a regular breakfast sandwich here because they do offer breakfast up till 11, and so I just got a bacon, egg, and cheddar. Um, you can see right there it says bacon, egg, and cheddar. Um, they do offer like sausage, egg, and cheddar, and then just like regular like egg and cheese one. If I can find the menu, I'll put it right here, but. I mean six dollars and it's not a small sandwich either I've had this before and they have this like breakfast sauce they put on it so I've eaten here before so I'm like not like gonna review the entire thing but I mean see just said it smells really good though it's whatever this breakfast sauce is is really good yep just like I remember all right, now having a little bit of breakfast, I kind of helped calm myself a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna stop over here into the pin trading shop, see if they've got any new pins. They did have some new pins out a while back, so I wanna check those out and see if they've got any new pop vinyls, because I also sudden become obsessed with pop vinyls. So I might check to see if they're any those out, and also see if I can find something for Kayla she's been looking for for a bit. All right, so I stopped off to the Disney's trading, because we saw a magic band a few days ago that I really wanted to get for Kayla. Kayla really loves Lion King, everything Lion King, so I ended up getting her a magic band that is currently limited edition. I'm gonna give it to her tonight, just so that she has it, but I was really excited about getting this for her because I wanted to get it because she saw it and was like she gravitated towards it. So I'm gonna give that to her tonight, and then probably what I'll do is I'm gonna go into the co-op really quick once I come out, I may show you guys as well, because this video will probably go up after I show it to Kayla. All right, so I went into the co-op and they still don't have my phone in like phone case available. Now what I found out apparently is there's a small issue with the way my phone is designed and the way they had designed the cases originally. When they finally went in and realized what the issue was, they were trying to fix it, but, that, when, but then the next generation of phone came out and they're like, well, unfortunately we didn't want to put time and effort into this. So that's why there's a Sears. So if you have a Galaxy Samsung phone, there's a skip time where it's the S9 to the S10. Well, once they found the issue with the S9, they then went back to the S10. The S10 had just come out, so they had to make those phone cases so they were up to date with everything. So, yeah, that was it's a little disconcerting, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm not really that upset about it. Like, I don't really need a phone case. I just would have liked to have a new phone case. Since it is a little bit early enough in the day, I'm going to go into the world of Disney to check out see if there's any new merchandise or anything special going on. Just because it is not super busy right now, because this usually can get very, very chaotic around one to two, usually. So I'll tell you, I think Disney has really gone and done a great thing. I love this retro jacket that they brought out. Like, I don't know why, but it's very retro in a sense, almost. Like, it's very unique. But I like the fact that they do, they're like, oh, you should get this, but you also get the ears as well, because they would match. I really do like this cup, though, it's very simple, very generic. $23, not that bad for a Disney cup. But I do like the fact that it is next to this coffee mug, which I've always been very, I've really liked a lot just because it is the partner statue. So I like this a lot. $20 for that mug. Okay, these aren't that expensive. I thought these would be a lot more, honestly. So, not bad. So it's definitely a trend I'm seeing. So this new Spirit Jersey mask with the Mickey that I'm wearing today, they sell out very, very quickly, and usually the only things they end up only having are smalls. And then about in a month's time, you'll see new ones come out, and it'll be the medium or the largest. So, if you happen to see one in your size, don't wait, just get it if you've been wanting it, because you don't know if they'll, if they'll sell out, and they'll only be in smalls. Alright, so there's a big thing about these wishables, and these are very similar, like, kind of when I was very, like, into Zoom Zooms back in the day. Well, I've been really interested in these transportation version, and I think I want to get a couple of these to see what I get. So what I can do is I can grab a couple of these, we'll go out and sit down, and I'll show you the magic band, and I'll open these up to see what I get. So I'm going to get one from right here, and then one from right here. So these are usually $10, but they do offer discounts, so we'll see what I get. Alright, so I got a couple of those wishables to see if I can get, I really want the train or the monorail. Um, really the train is my number one, but like, I don't mind, I like the transportation stuff a lot, so. I think I'll find, try to find a table off the beaten path, 
One, I also need just to take a quick little seater. I'm little, little exhausted right now. And so I'm going to stop and find a seat and we'll open up these squishables and I'm gonna show you guys the magic band. All right, so even though I am sitting, I'm gonna also have, I have some bottle of water just cause I'm trying to like stay hydrated throughout the day. Um, but I found this nice shady spot right here. Found a nice shady spot to open these wishables and to show you this magic band really quick. I just need to put some hand sanitizer on. Never be too safe. I always carry a little bottle with me. Um, I got like one of these little bottles from Target for like a buck. So, and it's one of those ones I can put on the stuff. And I keep wanting to put it on my bag, but I haven't found a good spot for it yet. So, let's put this away. Let's go and grab one of these bags. Okay, so let's see. Before I open it, y'all should see. Let's take a guess. So you can get either the monorail. The, the ferry boat, a tram, or the steam train. So, what, you guys should guess which one I'm, which two I'm about to get. So let's give you a second. So I'm gonna open this up really quick. Before I open it, make sure you guess. All right, open. <gasps> I got the little tram. Oh yay! I kind of this actually kind of one one I wanted too. I got the little tram one. Look at that. Look at that little guy. Look how happy he looks. All right, so that's, that's already been, I already feel complete. I've got one of the ones I wanted, really, really wanted. I didn't really, it's not that I don't want any of them, but I like all of them. That's why I was like, okay, I'll spend the money on these. All right. And the package number two. Let's see what we got in here. <gasps> yes! I got the steam train as well. I wanted the monorail one, but I mean, now let's come back and get that one, but I got the two that I wanted. I got the little tram and the little steam train. Okay, my day is complete. I, I'm very happy with that. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna show you guys this magic band that I got Kayla in. So as you can see right off the bat, Lion King, we are one. What, what's interesting about this magic band is that it is for Valentine's Day. So you can see right on the side it says, Happy Valentine's Day 2021. This is on the other side as well. So this year it's Simba and Nala. Didn't mean to be upside down. It is $35 for the specialty ones. You do get discounts on it. And so I'm gonna open this up and just the normal the instructions for how to how to wear it and all that stuff. But look, look at that. That's pretty cool actually. Limited edition of only 2,000. Now I'm always curious, are they really only 2,000 of them or are there more? I'm always interested to, to see. So you can see. It's got little hearts on it. Only downside, it is dated. I'm not a huge dated person with some of this stuff. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this out so y'all can see it. And there you go. So, you see you got Simba and Nala right there. And then right there it says, Happy Valentine's Day. What's actually, the Magic Band itself is not dated, so that's actually a good one. But it says, I like where it says, we are one. This is really cool. I won't show you the back because I want to make sure this gets linked to Kayla um, before anyone else. So I don't want any of y'all trying to get it. Now, I usually don't upload these videos for like a day or two after, but it's really cute. So I got that at, so they, I saw them selling this at, so they sell it here at the pin trading shop. And most anywhere they sell magic bands, they'll sell like these special edition ones and they're always behind the counter. And so whenever they show them to you, they will always pull it back out and then show it to you. Um, to make sure it looks right for you. And for me, I was just like, I just wanted it because it just had that. Well, I also wanted to just see this. The line for the Lego store, I think it's sometimes very long, and it's only 11.30 in the morning. The line's pretty long. Now, I don't think that more than 10, 15 minutes at the most, really, because they don't have as much stuff in there, but yeah, it's still kind of, a, kind of a decently long wait there. So in all honesty, if you're coming just for Gideon's, what I'm looking at right now, I'm coming up to, I'm coming up to Fly Pig, one of the best places, probably the best place to eat here at Disney Springs. Um, I'm coming up to the Lime Garage. If you're looking just to go to Gideon's, like if once the crowds start dying down, it's not an hour and 45 minute wait for it. If you come up to the Lime Garage, it's probably the easiest way because if you park, you then immediately go just straight down. I'll kind of show you the path from the Lime Garage to Gideon's. So you have right here, here's the Lime Garage, Fly Pig, Ron John Shirt Shop. If you come past the fountain, you come down this way, go down this pathway, down past Under Armour, and next to Unique Low. If you go down this way, you go all the way down, past Pandora, 
past Sprinkles, the, the cupcake over the small bridge. Gideon's is right there on the left hand side. Now I would have parked there this morning, but I have a personal preference that I like to park at the Orange Garage on the top level just because it's less of a hassle to get in and out because all you have to do is take the elevator down and it's also not as crazy if you're like on that first or second floor. So now it looks like they changed up a little bit. So when you first got here, you can get in line and then once the line got to a certain point, like it's found this pathway now, it's, so you see it's, the, that sign up there says Gideon's return for, future, for the virtual queue. And if you're looking to get one, it's right here. And so you'll come over here to the people in the black shirts. They have like little iPads and then you provide them with your phone number and they'll give you an estimate of how long the wait is. So I'm still not sure how much farther. I have to go and wait for my second text message. They told me once you get your second text message, you can come back and get in line. But I have to double check to see. Um, I have to double check to see when that was because I said an hour 45 and I think that's at 10.30. So I think 12.15 is what I'm, I'm aiming for it to happen. So if it is 12.15, I still got to kill 45 minutes. And now that it's under an hour, I'm kind of like, I kind of just want to wait it out to see. So what I'm actually gonna go do is I'm gonna go down towards the west side where Disney style is, where uh, where AMC, Disney Springs. I'm gonna go down and see what the line is for Everglades, give you an idea of like what the crowd level is for Everglades kind of this early in the day. And then I'm also gonna check on the M&M World construction. And hopefully by that point, there will be time for me to come back for my, my, I thought that was my Gideon's thing. Come back in time for my Gideon's reservation, or not reservation, my virtual line. So we'll see how much longer it does take. So it is starting to pick up. I can see the crowd levels are starting to pick up a little bit. It is starting to get a little busy, but it's not as bad as it could be. Now, like I said, on Saturday when Gideon's did open, Gideon's was having a virtual line of over 11 hours. I was thinking, okay, so in an 11 hour time, so if you get there right when they open and they're already at 11 hours, you could technically go to any of the Disney parks, spend a day in the park, go back to resort, have dinner, and by the time you can go to Gideon's, you're, you can go back and have cookies. And you've waited all day for just some cookies. Now I know they're pretty good, everyone says they're really good, so I can't wait to try them out myself, but it's like the mindset of 11 hours just waiting for that. So. Not saying anything bad about it, I'll just say how popular it is. So if you're looking for this mask so I'll show you in World of Disney, if you come over here to Disney style, they actually do also some carry some sizes over here, and a lot of people don't know they've carried them here, so right here they only have larges. They don't see any mediums, but right now they only have smalls and larges, but they do have a decent amount of larges still here. So I'm just coming up right now onto the AMC. So you can go, they are showing movies for AMC, but AMC to enter you have to go over to the other side near where the orange garage is But I want to just come up here and see what the line is for Everglades because Everglades is the brand new donut shop down here ah, And they're doing a virtual queue return and a sign up as well. So if you're curious Everglades is doing virtual returns When we and Kayla came on the very first day they actually had a line and had to set up, up and around But it looks like right now they are not doing a regular line just doing virtual lines. So not too bad actually though. I mean, I like Everglades a lot, so I really recommend it highly. And if you get here early enough, you might not even have to wait in for the virtual line. Well now, as I come up to where Fit to Run used to be, where the brand new M&M store is gonna be, there's some big stuff been happening over here. Look at the new M&M sign up there. And they've got all the yellow on it. So they got a little bit more to go. Looks like they got some wiring. So it looks like they're gonna be some like small M&Ms going up. But wow, this thing is really moving along. Now the question is, when will it open? No clue at this point yet still. But yeah, definitely. So if you want exclusive offers though, you can scan that QR code right there. And it looks like that's gonna be like the entrance area for sure. But you can see the workers are up there. It looks two stories. Ooh, that's even bigger if it's two stories. So one of my favorite things to do is to come out to this end of Disney Springs, which is down where Cirque du Soleil is. Where the M&M World's going to be, where the NBA Experience is. Because this whole area is very, very quiet. Also, it's a pretty good view of everything. It's just nice. And plus, like, looking over at Saratoga Springs, really nice view. Like I said, also, it's just off the beaten path and very much on the quieter side, too. So, so I'm trying to find a place just to take a, take a minute and sit just for a few minutes so that I can uh, recoup a little right now from walking all Disney Springs since I'm still not feeling 100% today. All right, so I'm in line, and I ended up getting just their menu, and they just kind of have just some basic stuff, so the person I was getting in line recommended getting the original chocolate chip, so I'm gonna get that for sure, and then I know Kayla wants the Rocky Road, 
So I might do that, and then I might see what else I have to offer. Maybe get a few things. I probably won't eat them here, because I'm gonna try to take this home and eat it, either with Kayla or at home, um, just so I have a little more room to do it. Unless it all looks too good, I need to try now. But I'm also not that hungry, because I'm still not feeling 100% like great, so might hold on to that before that. <laughs> All right, so I have got my Gideon cookies, and I got four of them. So I got two original, one so that Kayla can have one. Kayla wanted one of the original chocolate chip. I then got a cookies and cream, and then I got a triple chocolate just to try them out. It ended up being like thirty dollars, but these, I mean, this is this is two pounds of cookies right here. So what I'm actually gonna do is we're actually gonna head back to the car. I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna try these at home, so I have a little more space to do it, and so that I'm also not just like making a mess of everything. But uh, these look amazing. I mean, literally, the interior of Gideon's—that's freaking impressive. Like, I was stunned. Like, it was like ste very steampunk. -esque. Now, I can see why that there's a very long line for it. It's a tiny area. When I say tiny, it is tiny. Definitely most of that space is used for making their cookies, but I'm really excited about to try these when, we, when um, we get home. All right, so we are officially back home, and like I said, I'm going to try a couple of these cookies before I go out for the evening, or for the afternoon while I'm gonna be up with Kayla and stuff. But we're gonna try out a couple of these, I'm actually probably gonna try just the chocolate chip one, but I will show you what else I got because I ended up getting two of the chocolate chips, a triple chocolate chip, and a cookies and cream one. So I'll try the chocolate chip one because that's all I feel like I can eat right now. Because like I said, I'm still not feeling quite 100%. So I'll try that one and then we'll probably call it from there and I'll let you know later on about the other two. All right, so here's our box of two pound cookies. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And I like the fact they have the Gideon's logo on the inside and the outside, like that makes me laugh. And then, I know what this one is, I took a picture of it. So, pull this one out. I'll pull this one out. And here is the famous chocolate chip cookie one. Which this thing is freaking insane. And as one of the workers stated, this is about as close as you can have to cookie dough in a cooked, cook, in a baked cookie. So that's the chocolate chip one. Um, I do not know what the rest of them are, so I think this one will know by the Oh, wow, look at all the chocolate on my hands. Oh, this is the cookies and cream one. Wow. Oh, God, I just got chocolate all over my pants. All right, so there's the cookies and cream one. You can tell it's got a little bit of that cream in there, like cookies on top. And then the triple chocolate one. So these are all $6 each. A slice of cake, which I had to offer, is nine dollars, and cold brew is six dollars. I didn't really want coffee because I'm like I'm not feeling great, that great today, so I didn't really need coffee to add into that. But these are the cookies that I got. So the only thing give us the pistachio, the coffee cake, and then I think one other one I can't remember. But all right, so let's give a try to this chocolate ch chip one. All right. So once again, sheer size of this thing. Like I mean, pair it. Look at that. About the same size as my head, but. I think it looks good. It looks like it's got a little like salt on top too. So, all right, let's give this a try. I'm gonna keep it in foil on the thing so I don't drop any. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy crap! That's delicious. Oh my god! Jeez. Oh my god, that's actually really good. Okay. Just based on how good that one was, I'm gonna try the cookies and cream one. Okay. So again, cookies and cream one. Oh my god. Holy crap. Wow, oh my god. That is amazing. All right, and just because I'm already, already, already in it, already committed, I'm gonna do the triple chocolate chunk one. 
Try not to drop it because Blakely's under my feet. And chocolate's not good for dogs. All right. Okay. Those are delicious. Wow. Okay. The the classic one, perfect. These other two, I like the sea salt on top of these things. I really like the sea salt. The cookie and cream one probably is my favorite one, but that original can't beat that one. Wow. I just gotta put these away. I'm gonna hide them for myself because these are for me. Not all of them. I mean, I'm not gonna eat them all in one go, but. Holy crap, that, those were good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cannot recommend enough getting those. Those were delicious. Like, I cannot say how much, how good those were. So, but now that I've tried those, I'm gonna have to let, let it settle down in my stomach. I'm gonna actually head on out for the, the rest of the afternoon because I gotta meet up with Caleb. We're gonna do some things, just hang out for a bit. But with all that being said, I do head out from a fantastic trip out to Disney Springs from Earl's Sandwich to, oop, from Earl's Sandwich to, oh god, there's a dog in my face. From Earl's Sandwich to World of Disney to the pin shop to Gideon's. It was a great time out there. So with all that being said, as I do head out, as the, as this dog tries to, ch tries to suffocate me, I will see y'all next time.